Hello again. In this video, we'll look at how to construct a dynamic chart in Excel. And what I mean by that is we can automatically update the data in here. So for example, if I type in the number two, you'll see the chart changes. And each time I put a different number in, the chart automatically produces to the new numbers. So let's have a look at how we would construct that. Okay, here is our sample data. And it's just sales over five years by geographic region. And we want to have a look at uh, certain geographic regions side by side in a, in a chart for analysis purposes. So basically, rather than going through and constructing uh, dozens of charts individually, we can just set up a, a little function where we can look at things very quickly. So I'm just going to type in two numbers here uh, where I can have two variables on the um, on the chart. You may want to have more than two so you can, can continue this process. And I'm just going to line it up for simplicity. And what we're going to use is the XLOOKUP function and look up that number, which is the one I'm going to change to produce new charts. Look it up in that range and give me the cost corresponding value in that one. So I was picking up number one. Uh, you know, if I put number five there, you'll see it picks up the fifth one down. And I want to copy this across, but first I have to uh, fix the formula. So I don't want the, the letter, the number five moving. So put a dollar sign there. And I don't want the index row uh, one, to, one to 10 here moving either. So I just do that. And then I can just copy that across and you will see that, that those numbers match up. Okay, this will never change. Over here is my uh, heading, so I'm just gonna copy them across, copy and paste. And now I want my second um, item, and I'm just again gonna do exactly the same thing I did before. Look up this one, I wanna look up that one on the same, uh, same functions as before and see picking up number two and again i want i need to anchor the the first part of that and away we go we just drag it across so I go all the way and as you can see those numbers match up exactly so again if i each time i change it those numbers self-populate and now I just go ahead and insert whatever chart I would like. I just make it a bit smaller so we can see what's happening. I've got all the options to format it. And if I want to have a look at seven and 10, it automatically does it for me. If it's something I'm interested in, I would copy and paste it. Um, I can do all the formatting, obviously. But basically that's it. So if you've got a lot of data to have a look at, uh, market research data, customer database, stuff, financial stuff, uh, where you just want to go through and look up at, at lots of different comparisons. This is a much faster way than setting up chart after chart after chart.